Good morning, friend. Aaron Chase here from Five Dollar Dinner. Sorry, sometimes there's like a short lag. Glad to be with you this morning. Thanks for RSVPing. Thanks for watching the replay. If you're watching the replay, you might be watching this on YouTube later. Everything that I'm going to talk about, you should find more information either in the comments, caption, or description below. So be sure to snag the free PDF. I'm about to show you what that is and what we're doing. So if you haven't noticed, the uh, groceries are a little crazy these days. Um, most recently, egg prices. I feel like we've gone through like a series of different things that have gone you know, up and then back down, even over the years. Like years ago, there was like a drought, so there was like a big spike in beef prices, but they come back down. So again, I anticipate all of that <laughs> will come back and level back off, but it's hard to go to the grocery store right now. And that's why I'm sharing this challenge with you specifically this week. And that's why I have chosen, you can see the recipes. There's three recipes. We're about to make six meals the most efficient way. And the way we built the My Easy apps is by doubling recipes to make two. So you can either double it all and put like in this case, all six meals into the freezer, or you can do like use this to do like a make one, freeze one style. So make one for dinner tonight, freeze one for later. Make one for dinner in two or three nights from now, freeze one for dinner. Now, maybe that wouldn't work with all chicken recipes because you don't wanna be eating chicken all the time. However, this is the way you save on groceries. When chicken is on sale, you buy a lot, you flip it into freezer meals like this. You're gonna see, there's only a couple ingredients with each, with each of these recipes. And then of course you, you'll need, you know, rice or tortillas or, or buns later. But what we're freezing, actually, I think two of them only have three ingredients. So we're gonna just jump right in. If you wanna download a copy of this for free, totally free, it's like a trial, please do. The link is in the caption. You should be able to see that somewhere below, maybe in the first comment, also in the caption of the video. I feel like these videos, that get changes the way things get displayed, so be sure to check that out. And I'm also looking for comments. Hmm, how do I see comments? <laughs> Let me try this, and then I'm gonna jump right in to, there we go. Okay, if you have questions as we go along, please ask them here in the comments. I will keep an eye on them. I have them right here on my screen. I try to do a little bit of teaching and sharing lots of tips and tricks while I'm doing this. So I'm gonna be prepping meals. I want you to see how this works from start to finish. These six meals should probably take me about 15 minutes to put together. Yes, they're really that fast. It's part because they're only a couple of ingredients. It's part because these are just quick freezer meals. That's what we're all about with my freezer. So I'm gonna just do this. Ooh, I might need to turn that light off. Is that too bright? No, it's okay back there. Okay. So with each of our plans, we have the recipes listed out fully, plus how to double for the freezer, gluten-free, dairy-free modifications. We also have dairy, uh, different restriction options in our apps, shopping lists, organized by recipe, and by store section. How fun is that? This is my favorite one to use for shopping because it just makes it easier to move through the store grabbing everything you need. And then we also have the instructions for how to put this together. So I'm gonna actually, eventually, I should have put that sticky stuff on my fingers. So this is what we're gonna be doing. We're doing an in, uh, ingredient prep first, which is chopping a red onion, which I'm gonna do that here. I'm actually not gonna include it in my meal because we have a new dietary restriction. It's a very long story. I'm not even gonna go into it, but I'm, not, I'm gonna chop the onion and save it for something else. Uh, but I'm not gonna put it in this meal so that my little man can, can enjoy it later. Um, we're gonna mix up the chai chili sauce and soy sauce, and we're gonna open the crushed pineapple. That's the ingredient prep, which will take like a minute or two. Once we're finished with that, we're gonna go into the meal assembly. So this really should be pretty quick. We do have an option if you want to, you join the challenge, you download this free PDF. We also have an option where there's a bundle, you can order the bag stands that we're about to use, as well as this printed out, plus the sticker labels that we're gonna put on our bags. So all of that is an option for you if you choose. It is super affordable, I wanna make this accessible. But of course, you know, it's I think $17 for all of that. It's super, super affordable. So the stickers we're gonna put on now, and then I'm gonna get into the ingredient prep portion. So again, we're doubling each recipe to two sweet chili chicken, two ranch chicken tacos, and two shredded Hawaiian chicken sandwiches. 
So that's what we have happening here. So I'm going to go ahead and go in order. I also have, I use bouillon base for chicken stock normally, so I will need to mix that up when I am working on, ooh, this is not the knife I thought it was. That's okay, we'll be all right. So I'm gonna chop this red onion. This is meant for the Hawaiian chicken sandwiches. It's red onion, it's crushed pineapple, and barbecue sauce. So those three ingredients are what is going, some more stuck, we're stuck, hang on. There we go. Those are the three ingredients that are going in the bag with the chicken. Of course, once it's slow cooked, it is a shredded Hawaiian sandwich. So you shred the chicken with the sauce, serve on a bun with whatever your favorite side dishes are. So the chicken, basically what's being slow cooked is what we are going to use. I am going to go over all the cooking directions at the end so that you're fully equipped and able to do this in your own kitchen. And again, if you missed it, I'm actually just chopping the red onion just to show you how to do it. I'm not gonna include it because we have a new dietary restriction with our youngest son. He is, I'm gonna to start crying, even with my glasses on. My youngest son cannot have onions. So I'm just gonna do this for the sake of the video and for the tears. Okay. I recorded new YouTube videos on Tuesday and I just was crying even though like half of the onion was fine and then just cry you can even hear it like ooh, okay let me wash my hands to get that off of my hands and I'm gonna move the onion out of the way so you cry because the onion vapors release there's lots of things you can do to prevent that you can cut look can you see the tears yeah see crying okay friends I promise I'm okay <laughs> all right you can cut the onion underwater. I've done that before. I usually do that if I'm dicing. It's, it's harder to do underwater if you're like finely chopping like we just did. You could also put on safety goggles. I have on glasses, but the goggles will really keep all vapors out of your eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna do this whole jar of Thai chili sauce. This is gonna be for two meals worth. The cheapest one that I can find around here is actually from Trader Joe's, which is what I'm using. But you can obviously do price comparisons. I'm always on the hunt for, especially things like this that I buy often. I actually do this set of these meals every couple of months probably. And I'm still crying. Sorry. <laughs> so this is just a really, that's the most affordable option that I have found here locally to me. Oops. Okay. It would help if I had the directions up. I said I was going to set them out and then I didn't. They're right here. Six tablespoons of soy sauce. That's the number I was looking for. All right, one, I gotta count this out while I try and stop crying. Two, this one eye, three, four. I love cooking live, friends. You just literally never know what's gonna happen. Five and six. I'm also using coconut aminos because also dietary restrictions. If you're on my email list, you've probably heard about our youngest son. But let's just say he has a real limited diet right now. And it's helping, so that's good. Whew. All right, this is step number two, which is whisking together the sweet Thai chili and the soy sauce. In this case, the coconut aminos. I'm gonna open this can of tom uh, pineapple. I'm using a, a large can. The recipe calls for two eight ounce cans, but I'm just gonna use a 15 ounce can for both um, for both, uh, both meals. The ingredient prep is done. That took, what, three, five minutes? Minus my crying my crying incident. Oh, I am gonna mix up the um, bouillon base really quick. I just need about a cup. If you have stock, like, a, or can, like, box, whatever, I just use this, because it's, I think, the cheapest option. Um, I've made my own stock over the years hand boxes. I think this one works the best. Okay, so next what we're going to do is just going to heat up that water real quick. Next what we're going to do is get our 
bags up and I'm going to do all of the chicken at once so then I can wash up quickly and then add these ingredients that we've just prepped. I'm going to group them together so the pineapple, the barbecue sauce, and if I was, I'm going to use the red onion for something else for later. I've got the ranch and the taco seasoning together. I've got this already mixed up. So this is essentially the ingredients, one, two, three, that we're going to add here. So I'm actually going to be like super organized and I'm going to line up my bags with the meals. So this one is the ranch chicken tacos. Here's the ranch chicken tacos. Literally, this is sort of like very industrial revolution assembly line style, like putting together of the meals. So that's what we're gonna do. Again, it's two meals worth. So this is to make sure this is the chicken tacos. Two chicken tacos is gonna be chicken, the stock that I'm about to mix up, the ranch seasoning, and the taco seasoning. Super easy. That's gonna be slow cooked, shredded, and cooked to perfection in that slow cooker. Again, I do have a bundle option. You can download and print the PDF for free as like a free trial. If you wanted to order the bundle, it comes with a set of two of these bag holders. I'm just using all six just because I have them and because it just really does make this go faster by doing all the chicken at once. You'll see. And then we also, I will print out the stickers and the plan for you and put it all in a, in a little package and then ship it to you. So we have a digital email delivery option of the PDF that you can print out yourself or we have the sort of snail mail, snail mail option. All of that can be found on the link that's in the comments and on the link that is in the caption or in the, if you're watching the replay, like description below. So be sure to check that out. Right now, the best price for chicken is buying the bulk pack at the warehouse store. So that's what I did. I'm gonna make a little more room here. That's, I've been watching those prices for a long time. They've not crept up too much compared to, you know, sort of pre all this food price increases. So I'm gonna just use this. I'm gonna use two breasts from each of these packs into each one. And this should go fairly quickly. Okay, let me just mix up this bouillon base really quick. Just need a little spoonful. Stir that up. Use like a small little whisk. This is gonna be for the chicken ranch tacos, just to give it a little more depth of flavor. The chicken, the tacos and, or the taco seasoning and the ranch dressing mix. Kathy, I believe there's sound. You might need to adjust your volume level. Terry, so I'm gonna do it like this, sort of one at a time. All right, so we have now officially moved into the meal prep phase. We've got all the ingredients ready. We're doing the meal prep. Once the chicken is in here, all I have to do is quickly add in all of these ingredients that we've already prepared. And I have those six meals done in what should be like 15, 20 minutes. This is kind of how we do all of our freeze easy meals. I'm looking for fast, efficient. I am a busy working mom of four boys. This is the story of my life and it probably is the story of yours too. If you're watching this, you need to save money, you need efficiency and that's exactly what these my freeze easy meals do. Of course, if you need a little bit more protein, you could add one more chicken breast to this uh, depending on how much your family needs. Um, this should be enough for us, especially because Austin kind of eats his own food most of the time because of his restrictions and his new, I believe what we are calling newfound allergies, which are quite extensive. So anyways, this should be enough for the rest of us. Let's see, look at this. Magical. Did I get that? Oh, I need to do this one a little. Not enough. Again, trying to keep this from making a giant mess and I will do a quick cleanup, food safety cleanup here with the chicken. We have a little bit of the stock 
Oops. All right, the chicken is in. Let me do a quick wipe down of all of this and wash my hands. Another thing I love about this is there's just such a little mess. Like I'm using one bowl, the cutting board, and one measuring cup. Like it's just so, just so low key, so easy. Moving on to part two. If you download, oh, where to go? Here it is. If you've already downloaded this, or you're going to download this, or you're tracking along and following along with me, we've officially moved on to the last page, which is assembling your meals by recipe. Um, note to set this out on the counter and use it. So we're just going to go, I've already put all the chicken in. We're going to go down the list. You can add salt and pepper now. You can add it at the time of cooking. Completely depends on your preferences. Totally up to you. Um, I probably won't add it now. I'll let it cook and then season it once it has all the way cooked through. Okay, so let's move forward with the ranch chicken tacos. This is a half a cup of stock, which I made one cup, so it should be half and half. Put a little bit of those bouillon pieces in there. And then we're gonna do a packet of ranch and a packet of taco. This is my homemade seasoning. This ends up being, where did my measuring cup, my measuring spoon go? You can probably eyeball this, but. It's about one and a half to two tablespoons um, if you're using like a homemade mix or like a giant box like you see the ranch here is about a packet's worth so I'm gonna do I'm running low this is my tiny guy I usually do my homemade taco seasoning in a bigger container but that is that okay and then I'm gonna do two of the ranch. This is a really great flavor combination, the ranch and the taco seasoning together. Super easy. We're going to slow cook this. I'm going to break all that down for you here at the very end once we're done with the meal prep. So we're going to take these out of here and I'm going to seal the bag. And what I generally do, move this so you can see it, as I lay it down, these are smaller because it's just the chicken and the sauce. I lay it down and kind of press the air out and then seal it like this. And then you'll see these don't take up very much space at all for when we put these into the freezer. This is almost like a meal starter is what we've kind of started to call these. Um, this is the start of the meal. Of course, you'll slow cook it and then serve it with some tortillas and any other side dishes that you like. Um, we usually recommend side dishes. I don't tell you specifically what to do just because there's such variety in taste preferences. Okay, Hawaiian chicken. Again, add the red onion. I did chop it, but I'm not gonna add it um, because Austin can eat the rest of this. So we're gonna do pineapple, half of this large can or one eight ounce can, depending on which ingredient you got. And then about a quarter of a cup of barbecue sauce into each. I'm just gonna do a little squirt like this and then this is done this one and the ranch chicken tacos are very similar and that they're both slow cooker style recipes that we're going to shred at the end so same same kind of deal fold over press out any air that makes it easier to stack them and store them in your freezer later okay if you haven't yet or when we finish up here visit the link, download the free PDF. If you want to order the bundle where you get the bag holders and I print everything for you. Um, that is an option. It is not required. It's just an option. Okay. Last is pouring half of this ch sweet Thai chili sauce with the soy sauce that we already whisked up. Half into each bag. Sorry, let me do a little scrape -a We need every bit of goodness out of here. The sweet Thai chili, uh, sorry, the sweet chili chicken is a baked recipe. I'm still freezing it in bags. You could freeze it in trays, but 
I think it takes up less space to freeze it in bags like this. All right, and that's the six meals. That is how you do it. This is essentially how all my Freezy meal preps go. This one is our five ingredient challenge. It has all chicken recipes so that you can get chicken when it's on sale at your store and then mix up these really fast, easy meals with common ingredients, affordable ingredients. This is gonna save you money. Um, it's gonna save you sanity. It's gonna keep you out of the drive-thru, hopefully two or three times a month. Uh, because you're like, oh yeah, I started the soap cooker this morning. When you're like shuttling kids between like dropping, one, this is me this afternoon, dropping one kid off at basketball tryouts for club and then picking up the other one from like 15 minutes away from baseball practice at the same time. Yes, I know. This is one of those Katniss Everdeen, may the odds be ever in my traffic favor days. <laughs> so... It helps having, like, at least I know the slow cooker's going with one of these meals, and I won't go through the drive through when the kids beg, beg me to. So recap on how to cook these. So this is the slow cooker ranch chicken tacos. These are going to be frozen just like you see here, and because they're kind of smaller and just having the sauce in the chicken, what I generally do is I flat freeze those like I showed you, and then you can transfer this frozen into your slow cooker. And how I do that is I put this into a large bowl of water for about five minutes, enough for the ingredients to separate from the bag. And I will then transfer the, I call it the frozen ball of delicious, into the slow cooker and let it cook on low for eight hours. That's the one rule, food safety rule, is if you're slow cooking something frozen, you need to cook on low for at least eight hours. That gives the slow cooker plenty of time to thaw your meal and cook your meal during the cooking cycle okay so that's the plan with both of the shredded hawaiian chicken sandwiches these two and the ranch chicken tacos if you are feeding a crowd or you're having people over or the teenagers from up the street come over you can always cook two of these together to get double the portions this should be enough for two adult servings when you mix up your tacos your buns your side dishes and things like that Last, the sweet chili chicken. This is going to be something that we bake. So I'm, before I freeze these, I'm gonna make sure that um, they're nice and flat so they will thaw faster. Uh, I don't recommend cooking from frozen when baking. You can do it. You have to dramatically adjust the cooking time and keep your dish covered. But what I recommend doing is freezing sort of flat like this then thawing in your fridge in a tray or large bowl or like i'll use like a, a 9 by 13 pyrex dish thaw this in water in the fridge and then it'll thaw completely all the way through overnight in the water in the fridge and then once it's thawed i can transfer it to a baking dish and bake as directed on the recipe so that's a little bit different the slow cooker it's Quick thaw in a bowl of water for five minutes, transfer the frozen chicken and sauce into your slow cooker, cook on low for eight hours. So that's these four meals, and then this, these two are baked, that sweet Thai chili chicken. You can slow cook the sweet chili chicken. There is, uh, this is a thicker sauce, and there's a higher sugar content in this sauce, and sugar and slow cookers sometimes don't get along. Not all, not all slow cookers and not all recipes. There's a little bit of sugar in the, in the barbecue sauce here. The, what can happen is if your slow cooker runs hot, meaning it runs higher temperature, uh, it can uh, start to caramelize and overcook the sugar, uh, which is why you've gotta be careful with, specifically with the sweet Thai chili because there's more sugar in that uh, uh, sauce, if you will. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, and that quick rundown of how to cook these, all of it is in the PDF. So I would encourage you to download this. It's completely free to try. We do have the bundle option where I will mail you the bag holders and the printed version of this, plus the stickers. Totally an option, not required. You can absolutely try this for free. I would encourage you to do it and next, or download it. And next time you see chicken on sale at your store, you just saw that was like six or seven other ingredients, some of which you might already have in your pantry. Uh, ranch or taco seasoning you might already have. So this is going to be a really affordable way for you to do dinner, keep you out of the drive-thru, keep your slow cooker running when you're 
uh, busy, crazy afternoons like like I've got today, which is essentially most afternoons at this point now that we're you know back at normal life speed after you know the last couple of years. So, anyways, check this out. Thanks for joining me today. I hope this was helpful. I want you to learn how this works. I want you to make it happen in your own kitchen so you can see how handy dandy these types of My Freeze Easy Meals are and how they can help you in your quest to making dinner easier and more affordable. All right, my friends, that is all for this video, this live prep. Um, cook alongside me. Uh, share this with your, your favorite peeps. And uh, thanks for joining me today, and we'll see you again soon.